Hi, everyone. This is Donna Lamb, director of the Schweinfurth Arts Center and Quilting by the Lake. Thank you for joining me for one of our special QBL conversations. As many of you know, this is the time where we would normally be together at Quilting by the Lake. So we thought uh, it would be fun to check in with some of our uh, regular people at QBL. And today I'm chatting with Rosalie Dace all the way from Durban, South Africa. So while it's a good morning for me, it's a good evening to you, Rosalie. Welcome. Well, thank you, Donna. And yes, we should all be at QBL, but we just get this whole opportunity to think about it from a distance and from our own homes. But thank you for doing this. Yes. Well, we want to find out what you've been doing. What's, what's life like in Durban, South Africa during this time of COVID-19? Donna, I think like like everywhere else, people um, have been alarmed and quite taken aback. But, you know, we have to wear masks if we go out. We have had right from the start. Um, we've had a curfew. Um, the curfew has just been reintroduced. It's, it's not as strict now. There's a curfew from nine at night till four in the morning. And you know what, in midwinter, I want to be in my bed then anyway. It's scary and everybody wants it over. Same for us, same for us. So how are you keeping yourself busy during this time of confinement? Are you being creative? You know, I, it, it has varied. There, there are times when I have felt kind of quite creative and it's given me an opportunity to look very closely at what I have around in my own home and my own garden. Um, whereas a lot of the time I would have been rushing in and out and doing something. It's, it's allowed time to sit quietly, sometimes been quieter than I would necessarily have wanted, but I've been doing some, some quite, um, I'm going to say obsessive hand stitching. <laughs> um, I've got a piece here that I, I'll, I'll show you what I've been. Oh, wow, see that's that. amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and as I say, pretty, pretty obsessive because that was, the, the time was there. There were no other um, kind of distractions. Um, I have found it at times quite astounding at how creative people have been. I think it's been a way of trying to keep themselves going to say, look, I've made all this and I've made 500 masks and I've made, you know, 23 quilts and so on. And, and at times that I found that quite scary and I thought, just let me sit quietly and just stitch, you know, yeah. but it's been a remarkable opportunity for us to learn new ways of communicating with each other. Yeah. Isn't that true? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So um, we are really missing everyone at QBL this year. And I was thinking about you. I know you love teaching. It must be strange for you to uh, not have that um, in-person experience yeah. with a lot of yeah. your students. Yeah. Yes. Um, I am, I am missing the face-to-face -face interaction. Um, it, it's been an opportunity, and in fact, in a way, a forced opportunity to learn different ways of, of teaching. We've all had to learn, like right now, we've had to learn mm -hmm. how to deal with Zoom and, and so on. But there isn't the face-to-face. -face. I mean, right now, you and I are talking, yeah. and that's great. Um, but I think we just we just have to adapt. And something like QBL has been so important going beyond um, just the, it sounds terrible, I'm, I'm not minimizing the importance of um, the conference and the interaction, but it was the personal, the personal feel of it and building up friendships um, over the years. So that's what I'm yes. missing. Yeah. Mm. Now, mm. Rosalie, I think you must be one of the uh, teachers with the most uh, 
on the job experience at QBL. Do you know how many years you've attended QBL? Well, I think the first one I went to was in Morrisville in about 1994, 94. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we went to spend a year living in Syracuse in 1983. Mm -hmm. And to my absolute horror, we arrived there a week after QBL. <laughs> and I remember, yeah, it was still in Casanova then. And yeah. I remember saying to Roy, I've just, we've got to drive there. I just want to see this place <laughs> where Quilting by the Lake is. And it was at, at Casanova College. Yeah. By the time I got there in 1984, of course, we, we'd moved to Morrisville for yeah. I don't know how many years. And how long have you been now in at OCC and in Syracuse? What? Well, um, I think the Schweinfurt has had Quilting by the Lake since 2003. So yes. that's 17 years already. And I think I we must have, I know, I think we must have moved to Onondaga Community College yes. um, in maybe 2005 or six. I don't recall exactly. Um, yes. But it's been, uh, it's been over 10 years that we've been at um, OCC. But you said Schweinfurth has had it for 17 years? Yes, since 2003. Yes. That is astounding to me. You know, it's, for so many of us, Donna, it's become such an, an important annual event and an you know annual yeah. gathering. Um, yeah. And it's been it's been very interesting to watch people grow and develop. And we've yeah. grown in other ways too, in ways we didn't want to know about growing. <laughs> but um, but it it really has afforded an opportunity for people to 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 actually develop their their creativity so and I, and I think we we're all very appreciative of that, especially now that it's we're not there you know yeah. we're not we're not yeah. there yeah but it's, it's, well it's i'm really great. I'm really thankful for social media because it is allowing us yes. to stay connected yes. Um, yes. throughout the year um, yes. beyond even this pandemic, but yes. social media makes it really easy to stay in touch. I was talking yes. to um, Sally Davis yesterday yes. and she yes. told me that a group of her friends um, who've been attending QBL for many, many, many years are having their own Zoom call um, on Friday um, uh, to kind of mark the QBL week and yes. thinking about the fact that they're not all together. So I imagine there are other people doing that as well. I'm, I'm sure there, there must be, you know. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we, we know those kind of regular people who've been coming for years and they, they have, you know, the same little gatherings. And, and, you know, sometimes that can be quite scary for anybody who's coming for the first time or is yeah. not part yeah. of a group. But I think that one of the things about QBL is that it has... Um, always managed to actually be inclusive and, and has been specially mindful of new people. And, and I think that's something you've, you've done extremely well. You're an important part of that with, uh, you have a really strong following and people look forward to having you at QBL every year. And we missed you last year and now I'm missing everyone this year. So uh, yes. We really hope that things will be um, in order so that we can carry on next year. Yeah. But uh, we're all being flexible and yeah. we have doing to be. what we can. Yeah. 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 Um, Donna, it's taken virtual well, just over a year of sending millions of emails and so on to finally to get my new visa. As you know, I, yeah. I have it. And, but of course, we didn't count on the fact that 
um, the, the borders are closed, the international airlines are not flying that much, um, the conferences have been cancelled, and with my visa, I have to take my passport down to the US consulate to have it actually put in the passport. Well, guess what? The US consulate's closed until <laughs> at least the end of July. So, you know, expect the unexpected always. So, um, yeah, yeah it's, 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 yes, it's just been one of those things. And I, I certainly missed you last year. And I was very appreciative that Cynthia Corbin <laughs> flew in and taught where, where I would have been teaching. So yeah, no, we were time. very lucky. Yeah. We yes. were very lucky yes. about that. Yes. yes. Well, I, um, I think about you often in, um, in your colorful home and Durban, I had the good fortune to visit you. Gosh, I think it was two years ago. Oh, yes, almost two big. years ago. Yeah. And uh, it was such a special treat to meet Roy and uh, Lola and Pepper, your two dogs. Oh, and still here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and just to see your environment. It's yeah. so wonderful. And after having heard so many stories over the <laughs> years about the people who work for you and the blue lizard and the monkeys and <laughs> the, blue the, <laughs> the beautiful yes. garden um it was i really can see from visiting you the inspiration for all of your um colorful work it's just What's, a beautiful area thank you and it it was wonderful that you you came you know people always think oh you live in africa that's so far away yes it is <laughs> but as you say you know the social media is allowing us to to make the connections and it it really yeah, it's a very, very interesting place to live in. There are real people, ordinary people who, you know, just go about their, their everyday business here. And it is wonderful to be able to share that with friends. Um, and I have a very, very uh, deep-seated love for for America and, and my friends there. So... Um, it was really special that you you took the time and trouble to come and see that yeah it's 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 a real place you know well so, it was it was a very special opportunity for me and now when i hear your lectures and see your slides uh it just is that much more meaningful it, um, it, it, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? You know, we, we meet people all over the place, all over the world, and um, they may come from a place that's just, it's a name on a map. And, and you think, have I ever even heard of that place? You know, and then when you meet the people and you realize that people are people are people, their accents may be different, their language may be different. Um, but we, we pretty much are all dealing with the very similar everyday things in our lives. Yeah. And we do want to share, all of us. I mean, I, I come, you, you know, in, in um, Syracuse and in Auburn and so on, there, there, there are things that I have done there um, and seen there that I would never have had the opportunity otherwise. And I think about, um, funny, I was looking at a picture the other day of that crocheted woolen piece in front of the Schweinfurth that Barbara <laughs> did that said yes. art. It was a turquoise yes. with the word art in orange. Yes. And I, yes. I actually have an image of that kind of around all the time. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of pretty wonderful to know yeah. that I, I wouldn't have seen that. I wouldn't have met you. I wouldn't have met a whole bunch of wonderful people. Sally Davis, you know, um, who's having her Zoom meeting. If you speak to her, I should just send her a little message to say, hey, hi, I'll think of you <laughs> over, you know, over on Friday. Yeah, which yeah. is, it's been really great. But yeah. today, when I was thinking about talking to you, and I said to her, gosh, I remember insisting on going and seeing the lake 
where cruelty <laughs> by the lake had been. <laughs> we know there hasn't been a lake near for a long time, you know. Um, but it, it certainly has, has and I was going to say retained, grown its, its reputation and its being from what it was. So thank you yeah. very much for, for well, all of that. Thank yeah. you. You're a big part of it. So is there um, any, do you have any messages you would like to send out to all of our QBL people? <laughs> keep doing the work, keep stitching, keep in touch, keep safe. Um, yeah. I, yeah. You know, I miss you. you. You're so much part of, of my life. Um, I miss the, you know, the, the Wednesday evenings when you, you always have the, the special trip that we make to the Schweinfurth, which is just fabulous always. Um, I think that that uh, interacting of QBL with the Schweinfurth has actually made a lot of the, the, the character that it has because you've done... Um, a fabulous job of um, including the contemporary art scene, whether it's made in New York, which I, I saw on, on in the Facebook online that's coming up. Um, I think I think she said the seventh of August mm -hmm. was that the date. So, yep. See, I did pay attention. You I did paid attention. I did, um, but that link is so important, and that's. I think something that takes QBL out of the realm of a lot of other very valid conferences. I'm not minimizing them at all, but it, it gives it its own character. Um, and that's always been, it's always been great. So thank you for that. You know. Well, thank you, Rosalie. Okay.